Julian Assange is finally free. These, his first steps back on Australian soil. After 14 years of fighting, it was a passionate return. Boy, do I feel stupid. Here is in, on a video. You know, here I am this whole time since 2020 saying that he died. Uh, in the embassy. But, well, here we have it on video. Now we can all see that, you know, just how wrong I was. Because... Because there's a video. Assange only emerging from this U.S. court in the Pacific after admitting one charge of conspiracy to obtain and disclose national defense information. A compromise, yes, but his lawyers see it as a critical win for press freedom. His wife is almost unimaginable. How did that moment feel? I couldn't believe it. This is unbelievable. This is real. And how is he feeling? People screaming like fucking banshees in the background. You haven't seen your husband in several years. How did it feel? Unbelievable. Can't believe it. Unbelievable that this is real. How hopeful and how confident are you uh, that your husband will be pardoned? And what do you think has been at the absolute core of the shifting sands here that's enabled his release? I think he'll be pardoned if the press unite to push back against this uh, precedent uh, at, because it affects all of you. It affects. She's been a real ride or die type of gal. <laughs> Hitting all the points. Brave truth teller. Brave truth teller. In a shocking turn of events, Julian Assange will plead guilty to leaking U.S. national security secrets and return to his native Australia. Well, he seems pretty cognizant in this video and well-fed. Interesting that the, his last uh, appeal hearing, he was unable to attend and in fact, his defense, the only reason that he was not able to be extradited to the United States was that he was nearly incapacitated and that his health was so poor mentally and physically that, that the fear was substantial enough that he would die in U.S. custody should he be extradited, that he was allowed to stay. That's the only reason why he wasn't extradited in the first place. About four months ago, I made a video um, about that and reminding y'all that, yeah, he, has, he did pass away in 2019, 2020. Well, it's 2019. And just um, for context, basically the only reason why WikiLeaks was able to exist in the first place was that Assange and uh, others felt protected in a way to do what they're doing, protected from being, um, you know, prosecuted by the United States because of precedents in the U.S. courts. So there's been precedents um, set by, for example, the Pentagon Papers, not the Panama Papers, but the Pentagon Papers with Daniel Ellsberg. And he was first arrested by the federal government for theft of U.S. national security secrets, espionage. But the Supreme Court ruling was that um, after the case, uh, the details of the case, I mean, the FBI broke into his psychiatrist's office to get the evidence. So then when the judge found that out, he threw the case out. And then he said, 
but the I mean that's just inadmissible but um, in a dissent basically the, the result of this case is it's able to be cited as precedents for journalists because the judge wrote that as long as the um, information is in within the public interests then it doesn't matter the source and they cannot be um, punished for wherever they got it from so that's an important precedence that was set and that's what Assange and basically was you know banking on I couldn't believe it it was unbelievable and this, this is but this is real and how is he feeling I'm very happy